Welcome back to the WHHI News. Joining me now, Diane Fisher-Simmons with a look at arts, events, and entertainment. Hello. Hi, Allie. What do you have for us? So to start off, we're going to talk about the Shelter Cove Harbor Fest. Ooh. That's all kicking off again. We have it all summer long, every year. It's really fun. Cappy the Clown, the Shannon Tanner, the classic little acts out there, and then the summer jams, and, and especially cool is the Tuesday night fireworks. Yeah, boy, do those get packed. Yeah. A lot of people love those. A lot of people love those. So I guess maybe that's kind of the signal of Unofficial or official spring kick and tourism to season, summer. Huh? Yeah, yeah, kick off to nice. summer. That's and that's all the way through Labor Day weekend. It's six to nine p.m. Okay, they've got the live music and the arts and crafts, kids activities, bounce house, face painting, all the good stuff. Lots of good stuff. Yeah, and go to sheltercoveharborfest.com for more information on that. Very good. What do you have on yeah. tap next? Okay, so the big thing for the month is of course Juneteenth. We have this. This as always done very well with Mitchellville. Mm -hmm. The Explore Mitchellville. Dot org is where you can get a lot of information about this. They have a multiple opportunities all week long of things going on. Drum Circle and Overnight with Joe McGill. Ooh. Yeah, they have a bird watching experience, which yeah, I know Rob, you'll I'll, love. I think that's the 11th. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, over at Mitchellville. But yeah, all week long, like you say, they're not just focusing on one single date, which right. is kind of neat. Right. There's a kickoff reception and opening reception. I believe it's the 10th at Ruby Lee's. And then the big event, though, is on Saturday, the 15th. Okay. They're at Mitchellville. Freedom Park, and um, that's at Harriet Tubman Way, of course, if, if you're not familiar with that. And it's from 1030 to 4. Okay. That goes all day long. It's a $10 entry ticket. They've got a, a ton of different um, musical uh, acts coming through there. Very they've, cool. Yeah, they've got the El Shaddai, the SOS band. They've Ooh. got a bunch of activities, once again, stuff for kids, too. So it's, it's just bring your lawn chairs for that, as well as for Circling back to Shelter Cove, bring your lawn chairs for that as well. Okay. But this too, and they say keep hydrated too, because oh, it's, it's going to be a hot weekend and probably. It, and I'm going to just say I cheated and looked at your list. Karaoke competition. Karaoke Ooh, competition. I'll be there. No, they'll all, they'll evacuate the area if I try to see. So we're <laughs> I gonna, doubt that. We're going to hold off on that one. But that sounds like a Dancers, lot of fun. Dancers. Yeah, they have the whole thing going awesome. on. It's, it's, really, it's really fun. I've been over there when they've done that, Neat. and it's a good time. Again, Saturday. Saturday the 15th really, the is the big one. Right, yes, the yes, real one, but yes. stuff all week. Cool. Yes. Um, next up, a couple of uh, theater productions that we have coming. So I'll um, get the opportunity to talk about Oliver a little bit, happening at Main Stage Community Theater, and that opens on June 20th. It runs two weekends through the 30th. And you can get more information for that at mainstagecommunitytheater.org. Mm. But that, if you're not familiar, it's it's a classic, timeless sure tale. Is. You know, uh, the Charles Dickens um, classic about Oliver Twist, and it's just a really sweet story following this young little boy who meets a, an assortment of colorful characters along the way, Artful Dodger, Fagin, but it's really um, so sweet to just see his constant resilience and hope through the whole thing, to, regardless of how, you know, really mistreated the poor kid right. gets throughout the whole experience. And, uh, I mean, some great songs in that, too, Fantastic right? songs. Consider Yourself, I Love, I'd Do Anything, I think that's maybe my favorite. Yeah. But but there are so yeah, many great, great songs. Yeah, great, great music, great dance. And, you know, you, it's okay for you to say it. You're co-directing this <laughs> with, co Robin with Robin Zimmerman, who's Zimmerman. with HHI. Our so, um, how's that going? It's going well. All right, the real scoop, scoop how is uh, Robin to work with? <laughs> She's great. <laughs> She's actually been great. Well, neither of us had ever co-directed before. and it's, That can be it's, a challenge. It can I be bet. a bit of a challenge, but it's actually been a blessing. Good. Yeah, and we've really worked well together, Good. and we've, we've traded off on different things and different times, and she may block and kind of direct one scene and I'll do the other and then we kind of bring it all together and then have a yeah. double set of eyes on yeah. things. You, you know? know, sometimes two minds are better than just one. Yeah. So I bet it's going to be a great production. I'm planning Thank on you. coming. Where do people go to um, get tickets now? It's mainstagecommunitytheater.org. Okay, very yes. good. Very on good. On sale now. Get your tickets. Okay, I'll be there. One more theater production to talk about at May River Theater out in Bluffton. They're doing Lend Me a Tenor by Ken Ludwig. Mm -hmm. And that opens June 21st, also runs through the 30th. And that's a farce. I've, I've not actually seen this, but I know it's about mistaken identity and the fast-paced hijinks that kind of ensue when a tenor, Tito, is set to perform in Cleveland and he um, kind of passes out. We won't say why and how, and we'll let you see the story unfold, but um, it's it's all this just farcical, Sounds like double fun. entendres, mistaken oh, yeah. identity, the whole bit. And that starts when? And that starts the 21st okay. of June. And information, May that, River? Mayrivertheater.com on that one. Well, Diane Fisher-Simmons, it's always great to see you. And you too, And thanks Allie. for some great ideas, too. Oh, you bet. Thanks for having me.
And that will do it for this edition of the WHHI News. We want to thank you for watching. We'll see you the next time.